Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So whenever you launch Gears of War Reloaded game from Xbox App or Store, uh, it prompts you to log in with Microsoft account. So if you're unable to log in uh, with Microsoft account, or if you're receiving any kind of error, including this error, that is we couldn't sign you in to Xbox Live, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to check for Xbox status. So you can visit this link. The link is provided in the video description. On this link, uh, you can check if there is any kind of outage from Microsoft side. So on this page, you will see if all the services are up and running or not. So under services here, you can see all the green check over here. Uh, if there is any kind of limited outage or major outage, that means there is outage from Microsoft side, we have to wait. But if all the services are up and running, still you're facing the problem, then please follow the steps. Now the next step is to start account Microsoft account sign in assistance service. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services and then find Microsoft account sign in assistant. Make a double click, set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. With this selected, if start is highlighted, click on start or click on restart. And then you can relaunch the game and then try to log in still not working the next step is to restart your pc and try again simply restart your computer after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to run gaming services repair tool go to xbox app click on your profile icon go to support option and then click on gaming services repair tool click on start repairing click on yes to allow let the repair complete now this process will take some time and once the repair is complete uh, you can close this relaunch the game and then try to log in Still not working. The next step is to run WS reset command. So type in WS reset in Windows search box. Click on WS reset. This will reopen Microsoft Store and then try to check. Next step is to delete the content of token broker folder and try again. Now for this, you can go to this location. Now for this, open file explorer. Go to this PC. Open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show code, check on hidden items. Open app data folder, open the local folder. Now open the packages folder. Scroll down and find a Microsoft Xbox identity provider folder. So here you can see Microsoft Xbox identity provider underscore some alphanumeric character. Open this folder and then open the AC folder. Here you can see token broker folder delete the content so you can press ctrl a and then you can delete it make a right click delete it and once this is deleted now you can launch relaunch xbox app in store and then launch the game and then check still not working turn off sign in automatically option in account settings now for this open account windows settings and then go to accounts and then you can go to sign in options scroll down under additional settings here you can see use my sign in info to automatically finish setting up after an update if this is on turn it off now launch the game and then check next step is to log in with same account on store and with same account on xbox app so go to microsoft store top right here you can see your profile icon click on it and then click on sign out click on sign in select the right account uh, select the account which has the game pass or which has the game so make sure that you select the right account which has the game or game pass and then enter your pin or password over here now go to Xbox app, top left, click on your profile icon. Now click on sign out and then click on sign in. You have to select the same account which you have selected in Microsoft Store. So log in with same account over here, which has the game or game pass. And once done, now you can launch the game and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time, click on adjust date and time. Make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, then turn it on. Set time automatically. If this is off, turn it on. And then click on sync now. Sync now is important. If you see any errors in red color, click on sync now multiple times. Once this is done, go back to time and language, language and region, and then make sure your country is selected over here. Now relaunch Xbox app and then check. Still not working. The next step is to delete Xbox Live xbox login credential now for this you can type in credential manager in windows search box and then click on credential manager 
and then before you uh, before you delete this uh, credentials make sure that you have the microsoft account login details that email and password to login because uh, you might have to log in again to xbox app and store so make sure that you have the email and password and now once you open uh, credential manager now go to windows credentials over here scroll down now over here you might see xbl device key or maybe xbl grts device key so if you find this one or this one you can remove it if you find both remove both if you find only one of them remove it so in my case it's only xbl device key click on it and then you can click on remove click on yes are you sure you want to permanently delete this generic credential if then click on yes to allow if you agree and once this is done uh, you can relaunch xbox app and then you can check even you can even restart your computer and then check next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description copy this command type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then run as administrator make sure that you open windows powershell as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color so if you see any errors in red color like these then ignore it let the process complete this will install the windows default apps once this is done you will see everything red once you every once you see everything red now you can uh, relaunch xbox app and game and then check next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on inet cpl.cpl and then go to adva advanced tab now here you can see use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 make sure all four are checked and then hit apply apply is important and then click on ok and then relaunch xbox app or store and then launch the game next step is to run this command type in cmd in windows search box make the right click on command prompt app and make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command paste it over here hit the enter key now run the third command paste it hit the enter key relaunch xbox app and store and then you can check still not working you can switch to different network so if you have any other network available uh, you can switch to different network over here and then you can check if you if this does not work you can try mobile hotspot so turn on the data on your phone turn on the hotspot on your phone and then you can go to wi-fi and you will see your phone network over here connect to your phone network and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to start all these services now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find xbox services at the bottom here you can see uh, there are four xbox services make a double click on each xbox services set the startup type to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok find windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services make sure gaming services are running if not running make a right click on start if highlighted or click on restart and once done make a right click on the uh, just make a double click on uh, sorry make a right click and then click on start or restart now find microsoft store install service uh, here you can see microsoft store install service make a double click again set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok and now you can check still not working the next step is to repair or reset xbox app in store so type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app and then go to app settings first of all click on scroll down and click on terminate over here once done now click on repair after the repair you can launch xbox app and then check if that does not work click on reset reset after the reset now you can try to 
open xbox app and then you can check still not working uh, the next step is to uh, do the same thing with store so type in store in windows search box make a right click on store microsoft store app settings and do the same thing terminate if that does not work click on repair after the repair you can check if that does not work you can even perform reset over here reset reset and then you can launch store and then you can check still not working the next step is to make sure xbox identity provider is installed on your computer so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website click on download then click on open microsoft store if not installed you will see install button or get option in my case it is already installed so install it if not installed the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services so type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell and then make sure that you run this as an administrator only click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key this will uninstall gaming services from your computer now copy the second command paste it on the same window this will open store now click on get option or install option click on yes to allow and let the gaming services in, be installed once installed then you have to relaunch xbox app and then you can launch the game now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall xbox app so if nothing is working you can uh, make a right click on the xbox app uninstall uninstall and then you can go to xbox website or you can simply type in xbox app in google search and then you can go to xbox website and over here you will see the download option to download the xbox app so click on download the app and then you can run this exe file and then click on yes to allow and let the installation complete just follow the on-screen instruction install xbox app and then you can check if that does not work the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in the browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then you can run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on accept over here by default windows 11 will be selected click on next over here select iso file click on next and then save it to desktop save and then let the download complete this process will take some time once done click on finish and let it let this close automatically go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and here you will see set a file make a double click on set a file click on yes to allow click on next over here and then accept over here here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app will be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation this process will take some time and after the installation log into the computer and then you can launch the game so let it now once uh, uh, you use media creation tool then you restart the computer and you can launch xbox app in store and then you can launch the game and then check so let me open the xbox I Xbox app is not installed. Sorry. After the installation, uh, make sure that you log in with same account on store and with same account on Xbox app, and then you can launch the game, and that should fix the problem. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.